University of Berlin. He worked for an architectural and planning offices in the UK, the USA, and Malaysia. He is currently the director of the AA Projective Cities Program. Thank you, Melissa. Um, actually, actually, we need to put this on. Oh, no, actually, no. Can, can you make this uh, full screen? Thank you. Um, okay. Um, when asking the question of design in relation to geography, a specificity to environments, landscapes, places, people, societies, and cultures is assumed that the app designer ought to respond to and, importantly, learn from. To recognize the differences, a specific context has to be defined, which is done by identifying it as the other, exotic, and foreign. By rediscovering and reclaiming something existing as new. This learning from has a long tradition as a means to renew architectural practice by absorbing and appropriating other existing traditions. Starting with the classical grand tour in the 17th century, young architects travel south to complete their education intrinsically linking hereby the ideas of geography, travel, and disciplinary advance. In 1911, a 24-year-old architect goes on a reverse grand tour to the east. In all, but also in dismay, he writes in his travel diaries, quote, to see the Acropolis as a dream on treasures without even dreaming to realize it. I can appreciate the perfection of these temples and realize that nowhere else are they so extra extraordinary. And a long time ago, I accepted the fact that this place should be like a repository of a sacred standard, the basis for all measurement in art. Why this architecture and no other? Why must I, like so many others, name the Parthenon the undeniable master and yield even with anger to its supremacy? Un unquote. Um, refuting, sorry, ref, uh, refuting his reverence ten years later, the same architect proclaims, quote, it is necessary to press on towards the establishment of standards in order to face the problem of perfection. Standardization is imposed by the law of selection and is an economic and social necessity. Let us display them, the Parthenon and the motor car, so that it may be clear that it is a question of two products of selection in different fields, one of which has reached its climax and the other is evolving." Unquote. Did this architect ever overcome his classical ideals? In the autumn of 1968, a group of teachers take the students on a groundbreaking investigation, uh, investigation into the Mojave Desert that makes architectural history. Recalling the research, they write four years later, quote, learning from the existing landscape is a way of being revolutionary for an architect. Not the obvious way, which is to tear down Paris and begin again, as Le Corbusier suggested in the 1920s, but another, more tolerant way that is to question how we look at things. There's a, a perversity in the learning process. We look backward at history and tradition to go forward. We can also look downward to go upward. And withholding judgment may be used as a tool to make later judgment more sensitive. This is a way of learning from everything, unquote. But did this investigation ever learn anything, or was it simply a manifesto? In a 2002 film documenting a three-year research of a sub-Saharan city, a well-known architect answers to Why Lagos, Nigeria, quote, I wanted to understand how cities were changing and which cities were changing most quickly. At that point, it became really interesting to look at a city that was most, almost disconnected from the global system. So it was incredibly exciting to learn how to capture what is so alien, so distant, unquote. Not unlike a protagonist in a building roman, the architect's first observations of chaos and dysfunction eventually mature with the recognition of neoliberal order, unquote. Lagos is becoming more normal, more like other cities, much less dramatic. There are a number of recognizable urban conditions that are typical of other cities. What is being done right now here is to define different and new forms of living in the city. I think this is particularly going to be very important here, but also particularly in the West, that the city is going to be a mixture of very formal, very serious, very clear structures, and very lightweight, very informal and permanent and flexible entities." Unquote. Yet, 
Is it a city that changed, or is the recognition driven by the protagonist's awakened uh, desire to find a new genetic city, a self-organized city, and an exemplar of modernization? Finally, ask what was learned for the future planning of Lagos, the architect replies board. The irony is that I'm doing this research to understand the city, but I, I had to look in terms of change. Uh, but if I had to look in terms of changing it, I would have to start from scratch. So actually, I cannot answer this question because it demands a totally different way of looking at Lagos. Do we ever learn from looking at the alien, or are we seeking to confirm our own preoccupations, preconceptions, and desires? How can we make the relation of geography and design effective? As the new geography lab at Harvard informs us, the quote, geographic is a new, but for the most part, latent paradigm in design today, unquote, which is described as a transcalar, interdisciplinary, and ecological rethinking that would synthesize the physical, economic, and social underlying design practice worldwide. But does this not merely recognize contemporary connectedness, in which there's no longer the other, but only the global? The potential of the geographic paradigm is perhaps to challenge existing disciplinary tools, means, theoretical frames, and methodologies by conceiving a new context. In the end, however, the new or old paradigm simply instrumentalizes geography as a means to cultural or disciplinary appropriation. Thank you.